I'm Dr. Winters and I want to share with you some great information on autoimmune illnesses and how those relate to the brain and what can be done about that. I feel like this is a huge breakthrough in autoimmune care and I want to share it with you. As you may or may not know, you would only know if you've watched some of our previous videos, there is a huge relationship between childhood emotional trauma and autoimmune disease as an adult. So childhood emotional traumas like divorce of parents, separation, death, addictions, abuse, physical, mental, emotional, all those type of things predispose a person to autoimmune disease as an adult. This has been studied very well. It's been studied by a combination of the Centers of Disease Control and Kaiser Permanente Health Group and then the data has been analyzed by many different researchers and there's been lots of different papers on what is called the ACE study and so some of those ACE studies relate to childhood trauma and autoimmune disease as an adult. So for example with one ACE event you're 64 more percent 64 percent more likely to be hospitalized with an autoimmune disease as an adult. With two ACE events 70 percent more likely and for rheumatic diseases, that's 100% more likely to be dis uh, hospitalized with an autoimmune disease as an adult. So we know that the brain affects the immune system. And much of this information is very well documented in a book that I highly recommend called Childhood Disrupted. And so that is a summary of all the different research on how when the brain gets stressed from emotional trauma or stress events, how the biology of our body is changed. The cortisol responses and the immune responses and actual changes in the structure and in the firing of the brain. Now these changes predispose a person's immune system to be off. One of the recent papers that I interviewed was very interesting. For example, a type of white blood cells called eosinophils, we typically in the past thought of if they were elevated that meant more of an allergic response or a parasitic response in the gut. But we have seen in this paper that eosinophils can be elevated in teenagers who's, who have had sexual abuse. So sexual abuse showed up as e elevated eosinophils on the blood work on a simple CBC that's a $10 blood test that everybody gets when they get blood work. So that's an example of the brain and stress affecting the immune system. So this connection between the brain and the immune system is well established. From a functional point of view, the left side of our brain initiates the immune response and the right side of our brain shuts the immune response off. So from that perspective, we want the brain to be balanced. We want both sides to be firing equally, not one side firing more strongly than the other. Some of the ways that we look at that, as far as the left brain or the right brain firing more strongly, we might look at your posture. If I see one shoulder kind of rolled in, one foot kind of rolled out, I'm likely to have a decreased firing on the right side of my brain causing more flexor tone in my muscles here because the brain when it's firing strongly should be able to do this, work those extensor muscles. So we'll see that in the posture. Then we'll test muscles and, that, and if they're weak on the same side and strong on the other side we'll know that there's decreased firing on this side of the brain. There's a particular type of chiropractic adjustment that doesn't involve any popping or twisting but just stretching of muscles in a certain sequence from the right side to the left side of the body that fires that brain so the brain becomes more balanced. Now, I want to make this video specific about those with autoimmune conditions and as you know autoimmune conditions are one of the most frustrating things that people can experience in terms of their health because they're so poorly understood, they're so poorly managed and they're managed great in terms of, of strong medications that can suppress the immune system but they're managed poorly in terms of getting rid of the hidden causes 
that are allowing the immune system to overreact and allowing the immune system to attack the body. So one of the concepts, and this is particularly important for our patients, one of the concepts that I want you to know about autoimmunity is the concept of danger. This concept of danger relates to why we work with autoimmune conditions, or those with autoimmune conditions, the way that we do. So for people studying immunology, danger uh, reflects something going on at the cellular level. For people like myself who are working with patients in real time and helping them get healthy who have autoimmune conditions, danger represents a whole body look and a whole brain look. So anytime our brain is stuck in a pattern where it's perceiving danger and it may be stuck in one of those patterns from childhood trauma from divorce of our parents, separation, death as a child, or uh, experiencing death of our grandparents. Maybe one of our grandparents died of cancer, then we got in our head that we could die of cancer ourselves, that sort of thing. Addictions, abuse, physical, mental, emotional, sexual. When our brain, the limbic system of our brain, the protection area of our brain that functions subconsciously when that is locked in a pattern of danger, that pattern of danger is going to translate to danger in the immune system, danger for the immune system overreacting, doing extra attack at a bacteria, a virus, a parasite, a toxin, an allergen, or a heavy metal. So as our brain is in a state of danger, we need to release that so that we can help the immune system calm down. That is the brain immune connection and that's one of the major steps in helping people with autoimmune illnesses and if you want to go through all those steps watch my video that's called uh, either autoimmune action steps or autoimmune illness how to stop attacking yourself. So autoimmune illness stop attacking yourself. Our YouTube video has got about 11,000 views on that. Now in order to calm the immune system, we also have to calm the brain. So the way that we do that is with a technique called QNRT, Quantum Neuro Reset Therapy. I happen to be wearing a shirt related to that today. So Quantum Neuro Reset Therapy allows us to find a specific brain area involved find a specific tissue involved and we put some light on those areas and then each brain area and each tissue area maps to different emotions. Then we go through a series of reflex points where we put light on different reflex points. We look for a change in the nervous system. Those reflex points tell us more about a long-term stress or a short-term stress or if the brain is confusing two stresses together it tells us more about the nature of the stresses and then we can present to the person that what your brain needs help with today is a stress at say nine years old uh, feeling restricted, feeling um, not able to go with the flow and we can tell the person what the nature of those stresses are and the age and usually the person will know and then we'll have a brief conversation then we will make up a statement for the person like I'm letting go of feeling not as smart as the other kids at age nine. And I'm just using an example from somebody who had an amazing reset and got over an inflammatory condition that was diagnosed by Mayo Clinic and you can see that in one of our QNRT testimonial videos. But I'm letting go of being not as smart as the other kids and then we would uh, stimulate the brain. We would give the brain new information through touch through light, through sound, through movements of our cranial nerves, could be pushing my tongue over, or could be raising my shoulder, different things like that. We will allow all the receptors that receive, uh, that uh, fire information up to the brain, we will stimulate those receptors and the brain gets new information so that it can reboot itself related to this old danger event. 
when the brain can reboot itself related to this danger event, the immune system can gradually calm down. And in quantum neural reset therapy, we actually have specific autoimmune protocols. And those autoimmune protocols can help us identify if your brain is reacting more to an infection, to a food, to an allergen, to a toxin like plastics or pesticides, or to a heavy metal like mercury, lead, or arsenic. Knowing that is huge in us helping you, and there are specific emotional stresses that map to these uh, vulnerabilities to mercury or to lead or to arsenic or vulnerabilities to strep infections or vulnerabilities to Lyme disease or uh, uh, sensitivities to gluten or to milk. So we reset the brain to these specific emotional or stress events that predispose you to overreacting to a certain uh, toxin, infection, food, or heavy metal. And we feel like this is going to be amazing work in the area of autoimmunity. And so I wanted our practice members to know about it. I wanted them to know what we do and others who are interested in autoimmune illnesses overall to be able to see a different way to address these. Now, in addition to working with the brain, we also need to work with the person metabolically. So we need them on certain nutritional supplements or homeopathic remedies or other things to help their body rid themselves of the heavy metal or the toxin or the infection. But as we calm the brain, we calm the immune system. As we calm the immune system, your, your uh, immune system goes out of the state of danger and goes into a more calm, natural state for the immune system. Then the immune system can respond to things in your environment appropriately and then inflammation can calm down. Your pain can decrease. Your up and down symptoms that you have can decrease. The attack on your thyroid can decrease. The attack on specific organs or tissues can decrease and you can actually have a chance of getting healthier again. And you can see some of the testimonials that we have on our, our Facebook and YouTube channels where people have made amazing recoveries from autoimmune illnesses and even before we knew the quantum neural reset therapy that we have now, we were working with these people on the emotion and stress uh, levels. We just have a, a much faster, more direct, more powerful way to do it now. So you can look at some of those testimonials, look at some of the video series autoimmune action steps, and particularly our video autoimmune illness, how to stop attacking yourself. So if you know somebody with an autoimmune condition, be sure and share this video with them. If, if it's on uh, YouTube, you can share the link with them in an email or a message to them. If it's on Facebook, you can simply share it with them. But I'm dedicating myself much of the rest of my career to helping people with autoimmune illnesses. And this is such important information today that we need to get this information out. So I'm Dr. Michael Winters, Winters Wellness, Chiropractic Redefined, looking forward to helping you with an autoimmune condition.